back here as DU's got some work to do on the power play to get this period started. Mike Benning able to dangle around. Benning goes to the backhand. Oh, what a spectacular goal! Well, three goal deficit is a mountain to climb, a two goal deficit, now maybe just a hill. And you thank Mike Benning for that nifty play by the defenseman as he pulls that puck back in, goes around the back of the net. Jackson Blake, the league's rookie of the year. Gander at the blue line. Back to Blake. Down low, Schmaltz behind the back feed. Ethan Frisch in the back of the net. The Oilers are the 80s here. Look at this play. So Jandrick's got it moving. Now they got it going. Blake down low in between the legs. Frisch has been money for that spot for a good chunk of the season. It all starts with a great play from Blake and Schmaltz with a little how do you do over to Ethan Frisch who just doesn't waste any time, buries it. Strips it free, goes behind the net, back over to Clemano one time, where Lacozzi is saying, puck comes over and picked up by Bremer, and back up now comes Oval, coming down ice, we shot, score! Oh my, quick transition, right back the other way, for Omo led that rush up ice, and on the quick transition, Omaha sneaks one by Neep, to give Omaha the one nothing lead, and Johnny Tyconic. Didn't get it out, the Lambos, off the stick of Loney and the Bulldogs. Goats out of the box. Goats walks in. He shot. Scores! Darian Goats with a minute five to go. And they've got the lead five to four. St. Cloud has one of the top penalty kills in all of college hockey. 84%. Your typical goal at all, Bushy from his own zone. And that took a bounce right at the top of the crease. Look at this, he just flips it all the way to the end. And that's a tough play for a goaltender. Well, off the mark, that's offside. Ooh, gets back onside. And perhaps an opportunity now, and a goal for the Red Hawks. Yeah, I wonder, you got maybe you look at challenging this one. It looked like it could have been off of the season. Okay, so here's the play. It looked tight coming in. And it's a missed play right there. You Jaranik just gets his pocket picked. And it's too much there. Is Prokop not able to handle it. No one else circles around the back and gives you the slot. The Lambos are shot, he scores! The second short-handed goal of the series, it's 2-0 Western Michigan.